All the equipment shows us that there is an empty space here, an empty tunnel. So, the so that's geo the radar. reason. Yeah. Geo radar, which is sound waves. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's the reason why we started to dig here. Aha. Uh -huh. Because it's closer to the pyramid. Fantastic. So yeah. So the pyramid is just right there. If we have an empty tunnel and we can reach the pyramid, that's the answer we're searching for. So we decided to do that. And uh, in order to do everything in a proper way, I worked for two days in order to clean everything, to take pictures, to create the documentation. Usually when in archaeology they are trying to remove something in order to check what's under the, the Roman or I don't know other civilization layer, they use picks and they use shovels, but actually they are doing the same. They are removing a layer, an archaeological layer. In that case, in that particular excavation, we needed to use this machine. So, um, how hard was this uh, concrete that you were trying to dig through? It's five times harder than the, the cement we are using today. So, even if I'm against uh, machines, even if I don't want to destroy anything and then trying to save everything, actually. First of all, we have to consider that the archaeological excavation is destructive itself. So when we are digging, of course, we are destroying something. So the work, the job for an archaeologist is to try to save as much as information as we can. But it's interesting because if we want to look for the positive side of the story, a lot of people now are, are writing to us, oh, you're destroying an archaeological site. And nobody before was speaking about archaeological sites. So <laughs> it's funny, yeah. Before they were saying there's nothing there, it's just a mountain. That it's a natural layer, that yeah. the concrete blocks are natural. So yeah, actually so <laughs> now they're writing, oh, you're destroying an archaeological layer. So it means that we did one step more. <laughs> So yeah, to look for the positive side, that's yeah, that's it. <laughs> so how long do you think it would take to reach the Pyramid of the Sun through the underground tunnels if we had to dig from the present location uh, 2.5 kilometers away? In other words, uh, if, we, if we didn't go in with the machine close to the pyramid, how long would it take to actually get to the Pyramid of the Sun through the labyrinth? Well, we are working for five years, six years and we were able to empty only 450 meters of tunnels so just try to <laughs> calculate a lot of years yeah so you think it might take 10 years maybe more but but with the machine yeah. we can reach the uh the empty tunnel in what uh, a couple of weeks yeah. yeah actually for me it's important to to make people understand that we are not trying to do that because we don't have time because in archaeology if we need time we have to take the time we need. So it's not that the point. The point is that in archaeology, for important reasons, and I think that's a very important reason, you can decide to remove a layer, an archaeological layer, in order to check what's under this archaeological layer. So actually, we decided to sacrifice 7 meters for 5 meters only to check if there is this empty underground tunnel in order to reach the pyramid. So it's true, we are destroying something, but it's normal in archaeology, it's normal, everybody's doing that. Everybody was just shocked because we were using a machine, but nobody excavated the biggest pyramid in the world before, and nobody excavated the material like this. It's uh, impossible to do that with the pigs. We decided to sacrifice this uh, this land, this five meters for seven meters. So how much is it cubic cubic meters? So about uh, seven by five yeah. by what? Seven by five by seven or something? Yeah. Or to go on under? Well, it's uh, four meters and off. Four meters deep. Yeah, because it's so seven by five by four. Of, yeah. I don't know. So this ancient concrete is harder than granite. Yeah. Sort of hard to hard to use a pick or a shovel on that, yeah. No, it's impossible. It's impossible. So we're not doing 
these things because oh we we have to speed up the process we, we have to go inside just because we found it with two different generators that there is an empty tunnel under these concrete blocks we decided to sacrifice only seven meters for five meters in order to check if there are really these tunnels and that's it in archaeology is normal is normal because I, I was working in Italy and a lot of times uh, I was working in Roman excavations and in order to check if there was even an Etruscan layer or even before, a, a culture before, archaeology decides to sacrifice a small piece of the, the archaeological site in order to go remove the structure, the Roman structures and go under to check what kind of layers you can find. It's normal and they're doing that actually even to build parking, even to build uh, buildings. They're doing that constantly all around the world. They are removing uh, ancient structures in order to build st buildings that we need nowadays to park the car, to buy things, to buy clothes, to <laughs> build shopping centers. So now people are telling me that we cannot sacrifice 5 meters for 7 meters just to check if we can go inside the pyramid. It's absurd. And they're telling me that they cannot smile while I'm working with our volunteers, people who want to be here to help us, people who are really doing something for us. So I don't have to smile. We decided to do that. We took all the documentation, we took all the pictures, and now we are working all together. And of course I'm smiling because I'm with people, the only people who are really doing something for us. So that's it. Can you use some more help? What? Can you use help from anybody? We are not receiving help. We are not. We are just receiving volunteers' help. So why I don't have to to smile to to work with them in a very good way? Uh, why? <laughs> you will never see me near the volunteers, sad and angry. Why I have to? I'm working for the biggest project in the world. I have this uh, this opportunity. It's the biggest opportunity of my life, and I'm working with great people. So why I should be sad? Uh, well, I just know that in the morning I can look at myself in the mirror and that's it. So all the people who are trying to fight against us, it's not a problem. Just come here, see the documentation, see what we are doing and that's it.